everyone, welcome back. So today we're on another trip abroad. This time we're going to Ibiza. So as always, I'm gonna take you with me as we go through the airport, across the other side to pick up my car hire, and then on to the hotel that I'm staying in in Ibiza. It's no frills to be honest, and actually, I'm in a bit of a predicament. Car hire is booked on the other side for 11 p.m. because that's the latest I could do. The only problem is, is that I land at 10.50. Let's hope the flight lands a little bit earlier than normal, otherwise I'm gonna have to leg it towards the car hire. So that's gonna be interesting. By the way, I parked in the blue zone this time, which means it's about a 10 minute walk to the terminal building, which is fine, so come on. So this is gonna be an interesting flight because it's Ryanair and it's a, a late night Ibiza flight. So I'm probably expecting lots of rowdy youngsters on the flight, whereas I'm gonna be a little bit more conservative, showing a little bit more decorum. So I'm literally going to Ibiza for a few days. The thing that's worrying me is the fact that Ryanair staff are gonna go on strike the day I come back, which is a little bit nerve wracking. So it's like, uh, am I gonna be able to get back? Also, you've probably seen in the news about the cancellations for EasyJet and TUI, and all talking about people, you know, sleeping in the airport and, and airport chaos. We'll see what it's like. How am I supposed to get out here? I've just seen the sign. So I think this car park is the furthest away actually from the terminal for short stay. So it says there's seven minutes. I've already prepaid, so I don't need to worry about that. So if you can afford it, stay in this car park just up here because it's so much quicker and you don't have to wait for that bus to take you to the long stay car park. It's cheaper, but it's the furthest away. And when you've been on a flight or the early hours of the morning and you've got to wait about 15, 20 minutes because you've just missed it, it's worth paying the extra, I think, and staying at the short stay, even if it's for a week. I should be timing this, actually. I think I can do it in 10 minutes or less. How random, just putting something in the bin and found someone's keys. Tiny little keys to their suitcase, probably. So Stansted is the closest airport to me, but it's also, I think, personally better for uh, airport parking. It's all a lot closer. Even the long stay is not too bad. The only problem they have at Stansted is the long queues for check-in. And definitely when you come back, I flew back from uh, holiday a couple of weeks ago, and I was at passport control for two hours. And that was at one in the morning. It was not pleasant. So as we head in, slightly worried about how busy this is going to be. First thing I've got to do is uh, drop my bag off. Well, at the moment it looks okay. I've seen it busier. I've always seen these check-in desks, but never actually seen them open. I don't know what they're used for ever. I've always seen these here, but never seen them actually open these checking desks. So let's just check if my flight is on time. 7.20, Ibiza, checking in zone F, 81 to 95. I'm actually going to do the uh, self-service bag drop. Oh God, just seen the queue. I've got about an hour and a half to get my flight. You should see how big the queue is. It's the thing you dread at the airport the queue just to drop your bag off oh let's hope the bag drop works quite well the long wait continues the queue goes all the way around there so basically because I've booked this to a third party even though this is bag drop it won't let me do it so it's telling me I have to join that queue over there I hope not. Hang on, for once Ryanair might deliver and I might get pushed to the front of the queue. Anyone speak Polish? Anyone Polish? Yeah. This way. Thank you very much. Well, I have to say Ryanair was quite accommodating then to help me out. So I've got a fast track pass to get through security, which should be good so I can go and enjoy a coffee on the other side. Let's go. Well, I have to say that it was quite easy. And uh, considering that I normally travel with Gabby and a baby, which takes a lot more time, traveling alone does have 
its advantages. Although I have to say the fast track was a bit pointless because um, it was really quiet anyway. So, but I didn't really pay for the fast track. I got it free. Good old Mooch through duty free. To be honest though, I never find any bargains in duty free really. You still find better offers in Tesco back home. I always love to get the free tastings, but uh, there's nobody here at the Baileys. That birthday cake is pretty amazing though. This is gin and tonic. Is that what you get? Yeah. <laughs> Can I have more? No, it's very nice, thank you. Let me know in the comments. I always find that going through here, I'm always running late and never have time just to relax and, uh, and check out some of the shopping. Although, one thing I'll never understand, right, at an airport, is why on earth do they sell suitcases? <laughs> Even though they do look pretty good. Wow, some expensive pens in here. 400, 500 pound for a pen? No thanks. I have to say, since all this has been redesigned, Stansted is a much more enjoyable experience now, especially uh, for duty free and eating and shopping. I do like this area, it's quite nice. Just hope my gate isn't the furthest away. Essentials, must pick up some water because you'll pay a fortune for this on Ryanair. £1.39 for water, blimey. Again, it's crazy busy at the airport. What's great about the weather spoons is they've got runway views upstairs. Look, clearly advertised. Let's hope we can get up there. It's a pretty big weather screen, actually. It's one of my favourites at an airport. Oh, hang on. Oh, right, I haven't been up here before. This is nice. Okay, so this is annoying. I've just looked at the board and it's now estimating that my flight is around about 10 20 minutes late which is going to cause problems on the other side with my car hire so it looks like i'm going to be arriving in ibiza with no car hire and no way of getting to my accommodation i'm actually staying in san antonio which is around about 20 minutes away from the airport so this might be a little bit interesting later while i've got time might as well say if you haven't already please make sure you do give the video a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so i'm a bit confused because now it's telling me to go to the gate but still no signs of what time it's supposed to depart so anyway it's gate number 47. Gate number 47. I'm avoiding the crowds by going down the steps because everyone's taking the escalator. I assume that's one of the planes or the plane that we're going on. Look at that. Everyone's going up the escalator. I'm going to walk up the stairs. People are so lazy. <laughs> well, at least it's a nice evening to fly. The sun's out. You know, the people arriving back. No doubt from their holidays. Glad to be back in the awful British weather. Well, that's not too bad today. K47, here we are. I guess we just wait. Wow, it is super hot in here. So, one thing they don't tell you actually when you check in or at any point of my experience today, have they told you that you need a mask in order to board the plane? Now, I only know this because I flew a few weeks ago. Um, and if you don't have a mask, they will refuse boarding. But luckily, there are some vending machines that sell these masks but the thing is if you bypass that and literally are running late for your flight and get on there they might not let you on so uh, yeah still bring a mask thank you thank you now that is what you call a little cool buggy <laughs> look at that So not overly great, that was around about a 50 minute delay, which means getting my car hire over the other side is going to be, well, non-existent. So it looks like I'm going to have to get a blooming taxi, I think. But let's board. Hiya. Hi, how are you? 
Sobre las alas y en la parte trasera de la cabina, no del final del mismo, para desarrollar. Thank you. It's a bit misted up the mild evening. Slightly traumatised by that flight. So the time is just after midnight. I'm definitely late for the car hire. That flight was blooming traumatic. Not just only for the turbulence, but the, uh, the rowdiness. But I knew that was probably going to happen anyway. You know, nighttime flight in the summer to Ibiza. It's to be expected. I know it's pointless coming here anyway. You would have thought they would have allowed you to have a number to call or something. No number, no car, because obviously the flight was delayed. So I guess I'm going to have to get a taxi and then uh, come back here in the morning. I wonder how much a taxi is going to be. Oh my God, please tell me all these people are not waiting for a taxi. There are so many people out here. Look at this queue. Oh my god. What are they all waiting for? They are waiting for a taxi. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All these people are waiting for a taxi. Oh. Are you guys in the line for the taxi? Yeah, oh my god. It's gonna be a while. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might be waiting about an hour, if not more. Question is how much is this taxi gonna be? Apparently it should be around about 45 to 50 euros. Now bearing in mind it's one in the morning, I think they might charge a little bit more. In fact I'm sure of it. Just look at the queue behind me though. It's insane. Vibra Monterrey Aparta Hotel. In San Antonio. Mm -hmm. How much? By meter, certified more okay. or Okay. So we've just got into the taxi and um, he's driving so fast. Lovely. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you, bye. Thank you, bye. All right, just checking in, please. Thank you. So you need to buy six euro and 60 cents. I need to what? Buy six euro and 60 cents. For what? For the tax. Oh, yeah. for the tax. Is that, so how much is that per day? Six. Euro per day? No, it's a two euro twenty per day because your reservation is three nights. Okay, yeah, yeah. so two euros a day. So the total is six euros. Six. Cheaper than Mallorca. Mm -hmm. One hundred twenty-four. One two four. Okay. okay, thank you. I'm going 
going down to level one. This is a uh, interesting lift. God, I think we are in the basement, aren't we? I am room number one, two, four. Why does it look like a, uh, a hospital? It even sounds like a hospital. There's beeping going on and stuff. I think I'm this way. One, two, four. What's down here? The bells that I keep hearing. Oh, there's the restaurant. Now this is a very cheap hotel. Ooh, it stinks. Okay. It's like a door that I'd have in my living room. Oh my god, I just noticed. Listen. No soundproofing. So this is the room. Quick room tour then. Uh, I've obviously got twin beds, a wardrobe. Have we got any kind of view? Obviously being on the ground floor. Probably not. I'll just turn the light on outside. I take it as this one. Oh yeah, what a view. Concrete wall. Hmm. Roomy. Don't think I'm going to be spending too much time on this balcony, though. That is a massive sofa. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Adjoining doors. What's the bathroom look like? Oh, more light. No. Well, the bathroom's, I guess, to be expected. Half decent shower, no frills toilet, and a sink as well. Obviously, a little bit of a kitchenette. The fridge is alright. I'm not actually going to be here cooking anything, in fact, sir. Uh, I'm probably going to get some food now from Just Eat. In fact, that's really noisy. I'm turn that off. I've got aircon, which is good, and a remote control. So, I can't turn the aircon off, and it's like stuck on 18, which is. Uh, very cold. Turn off! Down on here. And try and reach it. I do this. There you go, I've managed to turn that off. Oh, I've got a telephone. Hello? And actually, a pretty good TV. This room is actually really good for the money that I paid. I actually paid £180 for three nights, that was including flights. Pull back the covers, and the first thing that greets me are bloodstains. Nice. Let's hope they're not on the other bed. Thankfully not. I think this one will be my bed then. So I just noticed as well, I've got a little amenity kit. Basically it's a sponge, it's a little fairy liquid, and a cloth as well so I can do my own cleaning when I'm here. Anyway, so the taxi ride wasn't as expensive as I thought it would be, 37 euros. Although he did drive like a maniac, I did get here in the end eventually. And in fact, actually, I'm kind of glad that he went quick because I just wanted to get here and get my head down. Um, I don't know why I'm looking because I don't have a watch on my wrist, but uh, I think the time is around about quarter to two. So I'm going to go to bed. If you want to see my adventures for my Ibiza, don't forget to click the video up here. Give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. And as always, if you want to see more of these travel videos, let me know. I'll see you next time.